Hi, my name is Dakari Carter. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Hyperdrive 7 and 2 USB Type C hub for your MacBook Pro or your MacBook Air computer. Uh, I bought this one because I needed, for one, an upgraded adapter for all of the USB inputs that I have, but also I needed something that would help me with live streaming, and this does both. Um, so this one is compatible with your 2016 to 2019 MacBook Pros or your 2016 to 2020 MacBook Airs. Now that's according to their website, you'll wanna double check just to be safe depending on your computer. Um, but for 90 bucks, it's honestly a really nice upgrade. Like I said, I bought it because I needed it for live streaming and to be able to have access to a lot of inputs and this one definitely has a ton. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into those and kind of break down what they are and actually the speed capabilities of those inputs. Okay, so with this adapter, you get one HDMI video output that supports up to 60 hertz if you're shooting in 1080p, or if you're shooting in 4K, then it supports up to 30 hertz. Um, it also has a Thunderbolt 3 port, which if you want to use that for video or for just or just for transferring data a lot quicker, you definitely can. This one actually transfers data at 40 gigabits per second, and then it has a max power delivery of 100 watts, so you shouldn't have any issues, of course, transferring data and um, powering most um, devices that support Thunderbolt 3. Um, it also has a USB type C input um, which transfers data at 5 gigabits per second as well um, but both of those uh, the USB type C input as well as the Thunderbolt 3 support all USB type C devices um, and if you do have a device where it comes with a micro SD like a, a cell phone or anything like that it does have that input as well um, that one actually transfers data at 104 megabytes per second. And then if you have a standard SD that is used for most cameras nowadays, that one also transfers data at 104 megabytes per second. So if you're um, using that, plus you have a built-in SSD in your MacBook, you're definitely not going to have any issues with transferring data as quickly as possible. It's very fast. I haven't had any issues at all. Um, and then, of course, it comes with the two USB 3.1. Uh, inputs and so those transfer data at 5 gigabits per second as well um, and then the nice part about it too is that this allows you to be able to charge your laptop as well so let's say you're not using all of those USB type C uh, inputs that are available you can use one to you know transfer data from one device to another and then have one just charging the compute the laptop itself so that part's really nice you still can charge everything and you will have that normal charge speed that you have with your MacBook, which is pretty quick. Um, that's just another nice feature that I really like about it. All right, so as you can see, there's definitely a lot of pros. I've been loving it. I've been using it for a couple weeks. I haven't had any major issues or anything like that. Um, I really like the performance. Like I said, I haven't lost any performance or any power from having multiple inputs being used at a time. I've had my um, HDMI input going or output going for live streaming. I've had two USBs plugged in i've had one usb type c plugged in i've also had it powered at the same time and so um that's my typical setup where like i said it's four to six of the inputs being used at a time and i haven't had any issues so i'm assuming you shouldn't either but it depends on what you're going to be using it for uh, what strain it might put on that adapter or your computer itself um, but for 90 bucks like i said highly recommend it i think it's a really great option um, i really like the design as well so the design is very clean and minimal it looks like it's something that would come from apple it doesn't look like it's some third party you know design or anything like that it does look high quality and it feels high quality as well um, it also comes with this little uh, carrying pouch which is nice because if you want to have this like in your backpack this will be a good way to prevent um, getting like excess dust inside there because then that could be something that could be a performance issue down the road But um, it's nice that it comes with that. Um, it's very small. It's very light. It's not heavy at all um, And it has a nice snug fit on the computer itself there. There's a small gap at the bottom um, I mean, But that's only if you're really looking at your laptop from the bottom um, But other than that, it's a very snug fit uh, which is really nice. Okay, so those are the main things that I really like about it. There's only one con that I'd have to say, and that is, it's not even that big of a deal, but it's just something to be aware of, is that when you are unplugging devices from the hub itself, you'll want to be careful on how you pull it because it fits good and it like I said it's a solid build but you can accidentally pull out uh, the whole adapter hub if you um, kind of do too much for so I usually try to do it with two hands I'll hold the hub itself while I'm plugging something in or um, unplugging something and then that seemed to be a good way to go about it because I did one time pull from you know one of the inputs and I accidentally pulled out the whole thing because 
it is having most of the like, I don't know, stability on just one part of the hub since that's where the two inputs are for the USB Type-C. Um, then the rest is just, it's against the you know wall of your computer in a sense. So because of that, when you're pulling things from the bottom, you'll definitely wanna be kind of careful, but that's literally the only con I have. I really love this thing. Um, it's been a game changer for me because the MacBook just coming with the two uh, USB Type-C inputs just wasn't enough. And I had a cheap one that I was using before and that with external hard drives was just risky for one. <laughs> so I'm really glad to have this high quality um, adapter that I can use now and then of course have access to the HDMI which is a really big deal um, because now I can use this if I want to connect it to my TV or to a monitor and it just makes this computer um, you know that much better so I really like it I've included links to it in the description below so those are my affiliate links so if you do want to purchase this adapter or some of the other versions that they have uh, they have a cheaper version as well as a more premium version with I believe more inputs and different things like that so you can definitely check them out but I'll include the one that I'm using in the description below so if you do want to check out more videos and learn how to use more technology to be able to create content online make sure you subscribe to my channel catch you guys later peace